Hi Sagittarius, welcome back. I am here to do your November horoscope when it comes to love and romance. All of my uh, readings are meant to be uh, timeless. So if you happen to get this reading outside of the timeline of November 2021 and it resonates with your situation, that means it was meant for you to hear Sagittarius at that time, okay? So I do offer personal readings. Um, that information is below as well as everything you're seeing here, the decks I'll be using and the ones that are mine, I will let you guys know. Uh, you can only get it from the links below and it's different for United States and international. So I'm gonna be making this reading like quicker today and um, so I'm going to get right into it. So if you hear me say he or she, when I talk about the masculine or the feminine, I'm just talking about energies and not a specific gender. And uh, so the energies can also be flipped. And if you're looking for additional messages, uh, they are available on my Instagram account. Okay. All right. So I think that's pretty much everything. This is my Cupid's Desires Oracle. If you're new over here, it does have some sexual references and also welcome uh, if you're new. So this is, um, this is my, I think I said it, Cupid's Desires Oracle. This is your energy, Sagittarius, when it comes to love, okay? So we have 360. So all views turn around. So you're seeing things from a new perspective. So whatever it was, how you were seeing things before, you're starting to take a look at everything from all angles. So you may be open a little bit more when it comes to love. Uh, this is my Cupid's Desires love messages. And then we have hurting. There's a pain in my heart for every single moment that we spent apart okay so you could be something that caused you a lot of pain could be causing you to look at love in a different way okay you're seeing it from a whole different um, perspective this is on um, the Celtic Tarot so let's see why that is because of a tower you had something very unexpected come out of nowhere and it just kind of just disrupted your whole view and it caused you to see things from um, a whole new uh, perspective number 16 or the number seven could be um, significant as well. So let's go ahead and see what is going on in your current love situation, Sagittarius. This is my situations oracle. I'm making this reading a lot more quicker and more efficient, just a little bit different, just to let you guys know. And um, so let's see, what is your current love situation? Okay, so your current love situation, we have meeting, crushed, and twin flame. So two or more people, discussions, planning, a sad, broken, feeling alone, the one mere soul's pledge. So some of you guys are possibly sad over a conversation that took place with your twin flame uh, or someone you felt was uh, your twin flame um, or mirrored souls or maybe even somebody you had a contract with, you were pledged to, you thought was the one. And it could have also involved other people got involved with whatever they said in this situation and kind of um, left you guys in a sad situation, left you both crushed, okay? But you're crushed possibly over a twin flame uh, situation, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see um, what is the energy of the person coming towards you. What is the energy of the person coming towards you? This could be a past person or a new person. What is their general energy when it comes to love? Childlike. Okay, so this person has a childlike personality. They love to play. So if this is somebody you knew uh, before, this is uh, their energy, okay, as you see of, of this card. And let me see what else is this person, okay? They also could be younger than you, okay? Could be a practical joker as well am i getting so we have wanting i need some discipline not uh discipline tonight so this is somebody that could be wanting on uh, you wanting they may like uh to be disciplined okay like i'm getting like more of a control type of energy or this is somebody that needs some type of discipline because they're very immature like childlike is also what i'm getting as, as a message and then let's see who is this person This is the Celtic Tarot. I just can't remember. I did the same thing in Aries video. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, so some of you guys could be um, dealing with an Aries, okay, or having it in your chart, unless this is just uh, a theme for the fire signs, because I believe the same card came out for Aries in the exact same position. So some of you guys, this is a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or somebody that is your uh, soulmate or true love. 
okay or you see as a, tr a true love as you see they're kind of pledged to so this could be somebody you do have some type of pledge or soul contract with that is wanting to come forward towards you that's wanting to come back uh into your life now um a lot of you, this will be a romantic per partner. Um, others, this could be just, um, you know, someone you have a very true uh, connection with. That number two can be um, significant as well. So let's see what is the current challenge between you and this person. This is my mystery house oracle. Sorry, I'm moving stuff out of the way. I'm trying to keep on track with the time. <laughs> um, what is the energy or what is the challenge of this person? That is coming towards your way. Okay, so the challenge is reservations. Okay, we have reservations, night terrors, and horror cloud. So your person is almost like what I'm getting here, whoever this is, is scared to like make some type of reservation, like a plan, okay? This person could also like a lot of attention as well. They could be in the public eye or just a show off, you know, wanting a lot of attention. Um, so the challenge is to for them to communicate, to confirm things, okay? And this could be because of their past that they're being haunted by, memories that they have, okay? Something that took place, it might have put them on the display. And so they could be avoiding going forward because maybe they're trying to stay out of the limelight, out of uh, attention with you is also what I'm picking up, okay? Uh, or this is the situation. They're trying to avoid any kind of... Um, uh, attention or even like craziness or drama they could also be dealing with somebody that's in this energy okay so let's see what is the outcome that this person is going to take towards you Sagittarius during this period of November 2021 nine of swords they're just going to stay in their head okay they're still going to have anxiety they're too afraid to communicate all right first because either they might have shown off they maybe they did a lot of stuff they're embarrassed about or they're dealing with this or they were a clown um but this person we have nine of swords anxiety so air signs you could be dealing with a libra gemini or aquarius so why is this anxiety here for the action they're likely to take towards you number nine could be significant this is the island time wellness love oracle cards what is this nine of swords energy Okay, too many. What actions are they going to take? It's like they're going to run, okay? Because they still have a lot of anxiety. So the runner is in a codependent relationship, fear, of intimacy, listening to ego. So this person is clearly just too afraid and they're running because they have anxiety issues, okay? Because it's something that took place in the past. So this person is still running and avoiding, you know, certainly this could be you. You're getting away from the anxiety about the uh, whole situation, okay? So let's go ahead now and get... Um, some more. I just want to get a few more about this person. This is my uh, twin flame messages. I'm going to get three cards to tell me more about this person that's coming through. Okay. This person is possibly involved in a pawn situation with children or money or worried about money. This person is also trying to figure out this. Okay, they may have some financial issues or they're dealing with, you know, some type of pawn situation uh, where somebody is, you know, basically holding their child hostage, you know, with their emotions. You're talking to me in my dream. So this is somebody that's having a lot of anxiety about what's coming through in their dreams about a pawn situation. So this could have had to do with a child. This could have had to do... Um, with money but whatever it is this person has a lot of anxiety and they're trying to um figure out this anxiety situation um that they have okay so the advice or message that you have uh that spirit would like to give you sagittarius for this month of 2021 when it comes to love and romance passion okay it, insane chemistry like each other equally so they want you to follow your passion and then you you want to go with something that you have a lot of chemistry with and you guys like each other 
equally and you guys are having fun. So some of you guys, I feel like this is somebody from your past that may be returning that you have a lot of fun with, okay? Um, but they may have a lot of anxiety issues, especially um, it's just like each other equally having fun and that's what I'm seeing in that energy, okay? All right, that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. I hope that resonated for you. If it did, please let me know by liking the video. Thank you so much for your love and support on Patreon. I truly appreciate you guys. You guys make it possible for me to do all the things I do. So I'm wishing you much love and success, romance and career, November and beyond. So and um, you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night. Um, bye for now. Peace, love and light.